morning, my yoga friends. Welcome to Yoga with Megan. I'm so glad you're here today. It is warm outside today. Um, I'm in Massachusetts and it is really beautiful. So we're going to go to the beach today in yoga. Okay, so let's get started. Make sure your space is clear of any furniture or walls. And you have a yoga mat or a rug, something you're comfortable on. And you're going to sit up nice and tall. And you're going to show me your special hand. This is the hand that has something special about you, something you really like to do, something you're learning how to do, something you do really well. Any of those things. That's this hand. This hand has something we do for others that's kind. When we share our toys, or help someone who's sad, or just help our mommies and our daddies with chores around the house, that's kind. So we put our two hands together, special and kind, and when we see that, we know that we each have something special and kind to offer. So I have something special and kind, and you have something special and kind. And when we see that, we say, Namaste. Namaste to each other. After we do that, we need to get our minds and our bodies ready for yoga. So I know for me, I've been running around with my kids today a little bit, and um, I need to calm my body down so I can really focus on yoga. So we're gonna take a big breath in through our noses smelling something delicious, and then we're going to breathe out. <sighs> that helps our mind slow down and get ready. Let's put our hands on our bellies and try it again. When we breathe in, our bellies get bigger. And when we breathe out, <sighs> they get smaller. I'm going to use the ball. Big breath in. Big breath out. <sighs> and in. And out. One more time, big breath in, and big breath out. Beautiful. Now we're ready to begin. So, our book today is called Luke's Beach Day. I went to the beach this weekend. It was so nice. So this is called Luke's Beach Day. And this is actually a kid's yoga book. So there's lots and lots of yoga poses in here. There they are. What a smashing summer day, said Luke's teacher. Let's get ourselves ready for a day at the beach. She pointed to the sign on the wooden walkway. Slip, slop, slap, it said. Luke and his classmates slipped on their sun shirts, slapped on their sunscreen, and slapped on their sun hats. Then they slid on their sunglasses. So, let's all slap on some sunscreen. Ready? Take some sunscreen and slap it on your body. Making sure that you don't get a sunburn at the beach, on your legs, on your toes. Right? Say hello to the sun to start our day, said Luke's teacher. Luke, his teacher and classmates, stretched their arms up high towards the sky. There they are saying hello to the sun. So we're going to say hello. We're going to do the whole sun salutation. All right, my friends? So to do that, we come to the front of our mats. Okay, your mat could be the same way mine is, or maybe you're facing me. And then you would just look at me while I do this. So we're at the front of our mat. We take a big breath in like in that picture. Our arms come way up over our heads. We look up at the sun. Hello, sun. And then we breathe out. We touch our toes. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Then we're going to bring our hands down to the ground. And one foot comes back. And the other foot comes back. And then a big breath out. We breathe out as we touch our bellies down to the ground. And a big breath in, we look up at the sun. And a big breath out, downward dog. Good job, big breath in. And 
out and in and out. Now look at your hands, bend your knees, take a big breath and tickle your toes. Tickle, 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 tickle. And big breath in, come all the way up and breathe out. That was our whole sun salutation. Great job. There they were saying hello to the sun. And now they gathered in the shade of an umbrella. Their teacher explained the safety rules for the day. Phew, it's steaming hot already. They said, yep, it smells like seaweed, said Sue, plugging her nose. Look at that plastic bag over there. Lou quickly ran over to the bag and threw it into the bin. He was being kind, that's kind to recycle. All right, we're gonna be the umbrella. We're gonna do our tree pose for umbrella pose. So everybody, we're going to come on our mats and we're gonna look at something that isn't moving. So I'm gonna put the breathing ball there, but you can put whatever you want in your home. And we're gonna look at it and we're gonna take a big breath in, make our branches grow tall, and then Decide what kind of tree we're going to be. Are we going to be a baby tree? Are we going to be a kid tree? Are you going to be a teenager tree? A big breath in and a big breath out. And in and out. Beautiful. Let's try the other foot. Baby tree, teenager tree, or actually that's a kid tree. Teenager tree. Where we're not going to put our foot is on our knees because we don't want to hurt our knees. Big breath in, big breath out. Beautiful umbrella trees. Nicely done. Oh, look. There's a boy surfing in the water. There he is. So we're going to do our warrior two pose. And then there's a girl sailing in the water. So we're gonna make the sail by doing our triangle pose. Okay, so first we're gonna do our warrior two. We're gonna be the boy surfing. So we're gonna step one foot out, one foot back, and bend your knee, looking at your knee, and we're going to surf. Can you go backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and surf on your surfboard? Big breath in and out and in and out. Nice. Now we're going to switch sides. Other side. And in. And out, and in, and out. Beautiful, big breath in, big breath out. Fantastic, all right, now we're gonna do the sail. So our foot faces that way again, the other foot is facing this, so we look like an L. And we're gonna reach, 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 reach. Bend down, big breath in, and out. And in, and out, come up, and let's go the other way. Reach, 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 and big breath in, and out, whoops, there go my glasses, and in, and out, big breath in, come up, and what else are we going to do on our adventure at the beach? I wonder. Let's see. Ooh, check out those people swimming. They're doing a warrior three pose. Look, kangaroos. Oh, this must not be in America, this, this beach. I think it might be in Australia. Luke pointed at the family of kangaroos. So we're gonna do our kangaroo pose too. All right, friends. So we have our swimmer pose. And we have our kangaroo pose. 
So we're going to come to the front of our mat. We're going to bring one foot behind us. And you're going to lean forward. Now I can lean forward like this and pretend to swim. By the way, I'm looking at something on the floor that isn't moving to help me balance. Okay, so I can stay like this or like this. Or I can bring my foot up a little. Or I can bring my foot up even more. And then once I'm balanced, I can practice swimming. Big breath in and out, and in, and out. Let's try the other leg. One leg behind you. Reaching forward so you can either bring your hands back or forward. You can keep your foot on the ground, or you can bring it up. You can bring it up further. And reach, and reach, and reach, and reach. Then come all the way up. Now you can go to the back of your mat. We're going to squat down like a little kangaroo. I'm going to take a big breath in. And we're going to hop, and hop, and hop. Good job. All right. That would be so exciting to see kangaroos on the beach. We see sea lions on the beach, but or seals, but never kangaroos. Come on, let's make sand castles. Look at this. They're doing their downward dog pose. Good idea. Let's build some mighty bridges. And they're doing their plank pose. Downward dog and plank. We did both of those when we did our sun salutation. So, we're going to start with our downward dog, big breath in, and out, and in, and out, and then we come forward to our plank for the bridges, big breath in, and out, and then back up, downward dog, and back to plank, big breath in, and out. Fantastic. Oh no, look at those seagulls picking at that box of fish and chips. My son used to love to run after those seagulls and tell them to go away. So this is called a pigeon pose that we're going to do. Here she is. She's got one leg in front and one leg behind. So. I'm going to try that now. So you're going to sit down on the ground and we're going to put one leg in front. So it's sort of like a half crisscross applesauce. Okay? And then the other leg is going to come behind us. And then you can roll over. Big breath in and out. And in, and out. Let's try the other leg. So first, it's like crisscross applesauce. Here's my leg. And then my other leg is just going to come behind me. Big breath in, and out, and in, and out. Excellent job. is a type of, oh, no, sorry, just kidding. Stephanie stopped for a moment and sat still. She closed her eyes and listens to the sound of the sea. And there she is sitting in heron pose, hero pose. Hero pose. So, we're gonna calm down onto our heels. We're going to sit in hero pose. Big breath in and out and in and out. You can even close your eyes. I hurt my ankle a little while ago, and that this 
was actually the first time doing something without anything on my ankle. And I did not feel good for that. But it may have felt really good for you. I wonder if we will see any dolphins today. They're doing dolphin pose. Looking for the dolphins. So dolphin pose is a little bit like downward dog, except we do it on our elbows. So downward dog, we use our hand. Here we're gonna go down to our elbows. So just our elbows are on the ground and our hands. And then just like downward dog, we're gonna lift up. We're looking at our hands. Big breath in and out and in. And out. And one more time. Big breath in. And out. Fantastic. Suddenly, Luke screamed, Shark! Shark fans sound the sirens. He thinks those are sharks. So we're going to do our shark pose. We're going to come all the way down onto our bellies. And we're going to bring our hands behind us. You can hold on to them. Ooh, a lot of cracking. Or you can just have them behind you, whichever is more comfortable. And you're going to lift up your chest and lift up your feet. Big breath in. And out. And in. And out and let it go. And shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Oh no. Now they are seeing some crabs in the water. So they're going to walk like a crab. They're seeing the crabs going in the water. They're seeing a lot of cool things at the beach. All right, so we're going to put our hands and our feet on the ground. And you're gonna lift up into your tabletop pose or your crab pose today. Big breath in and out and in. And out if you want to, you can try to walk your crab side to side if you want to. And down. What other things could they find at the beach? Ooh, look at this. There is an anemone right here. Interesting. And there are some seashells that they're gonna collect. So we're gonna do our flower pose, lotus pose, and we're gonna do our forward bend for the shells. Okay? So our flower pose, we sit down and we put our feet together. Then we take our hands and we put them in a big hole and we walk them underneath our legs. And then you're gonna sit back a little bit. This is when you wanna make sure there's nothing behind you. And you can stand your tippy toes like this, or if you feel balanced, you can lift up your legs. Big breath in, and out, and in, and out. Nice, see enemies. And then we're gonna collect our shells, so, Here's a shell, big breath in, big breath out, and in, and out. Nice. Look at this, the three friends spent their day sitting on the beach licking ice cream cones and taking notes for their study of the sea. There they are, just sitting beautifully on the beach. This is also called Lotus Pose. 
So friends, you can do this by sitting crisscross applesauce like this, or you could do one foot up on the thigh, or some of you may be able to do two feet up. I'm not sure with my ankle if I'm going to be able to do this. That's not going to happen today, but sometimes you can get two feet up, like they're actually sitting in the picture. But my ankle won't allow me to do that today. Big breath in. And out. And another big breath in. And out. I would like to be looking at ice cream cone right now. That sounds delicious. Oh, look. They're pretending to be sea stars in resting pose. Look at that. They felt salty spray and smelled the fresh air breeze. There they are just lying down, enjoying the day with butterflies everywhere. So we're gonna come down on our backs. And they're lying with their hands down by their sides, but let's be a starfish and make our stars nice and wide. You make your legs wide and your arms wide. A big breath in and a big breath out. Hands in and out. Excellent. And then bring yourself back up. They sat up and looked out at the ocean. A long day at the ocean, at the beach. Oh. And there are all the poses that we did, every single one of them. Look at that, so many poses. There they are. All those different poses. Beautiful. Now, let's sit like they did at the end, crisscross applesauce, and close your eyes and pretend to be listening to the ocean. What do you smell? What do you hear when you go to the beach? I smell sunscreen. I smell the ocean. I hear the wind and the waves and the seagulls. Maybe there are people talking, people swimming, lots of different sounds. At the end of the beach day and at the end of yoga, it's time to rest our bodies. So our brains during the day have a lot going on. Just like the magic brush. But when we stop moving, then everything settles down and gets calm. But if we move again, things get stirred up. So we need to calm our bodies down. So turn off the lights wherever you are. You can turn on some quiet music if you want to. Maybe somebody's there and they can rub your head, rub your shoulders and your hands. And you're gonna just lie all the way down like we did for starfish, but this time you're gonna have your arms down by your side. A big breath in and a big breath out. Resting your body. Having your eyes open or closed. Just sitting for a few minutes pretending that there's a Shavasana fairy who's coming with his or her magic wand, just like mine. And they're gonna put a little bit of dust on your forehead to help it relax. Maybe they're gonna put a little bit of dust on your eyes to help them relax. 
dust on your shoulders. And the dust on your arms. Everything gets so relaxed. And then you're going to put some dust on your hands. And each of your fingers. One. Fairy, put some dust on one of your feet and each of your toes. One, two, three, four, five. And your other foot and each of those toes. One, two, three, four, five. Now I did it with the real yoga dust brush, but you can pretend in your bot in your mind that the yoga dust fairy was doing. a deep breath out. Your body is relaxed, head to toe. On your next big breath in, you're going to bring your hands way up over your heads. Big breath in. And a big breath out. We hug our knees to our chest. Squeeze your knees. Big breath in. We roll over to one side. Big breath out. We Push ourselves up. And we find ourselves sitting crisscross applesauce again. Now that we're nice and calm, we're going to share that energy with someone we love. So we put our hands on our hearts and we think about somebody we love who we could want to send a hug to. This person could be a person or an animal. It could be one person or animal or lots of people or animals. They could be living or not. And they can be right here in the room with you, or they could be so far away. That's up to you. So close your eyes and try to picture their faces. Take a big breath in. Send them a hug. Awesome, let's try it again. Picture their faces. Big breath in. Send a hug. Wonderful. All right, now bring those special and those kind hands back together to your heart center. We respect each other by having kind hearts. Can you guys say kind hearts? Kind hearts. Bring our hands to our mouth so we remember to use our kind words. Kind words, so important. And then we bring our hands to our forehead and we remember to have kind thoughts. And then we say, Namaste. The special and kindness in me seeds, the special and kindness in you. Thank you guys so much for doing yoga with me today. I really loved having you here. And I will see you soon. Bye.